face is early in the morning, it wakes me up too. <laughs> um, so this week's um, theme was all about lower limb. And again, obviously our lower limbs attached to our hips. So we're going to look at quite a little bit of uh, glute work as well. So glute activation to help with our lower limbs. So it's not all just about lengthening into the lower limbs. It's actually, um, this week it's been more about strengthening. So getting the strength into the muscles so that we're not overcompensating on the lesser or the weaker muscles or the smaller muscles, but we should be engaging our larger muscles. So that's why I've been doing a lot of glute work this week with the idea of engaging our glutes and our TFLs to take the pressure off the rest of the legs. So where we might experience what we think is tightness can in fact also often be an over lengthened muscle. So particularly in the hamstrings and calves, where we feel it's really tight, it could actually be just that the muscle is over lengthened. So by us stretching into an over lengthened muscle, we're actually doing more damage. So what we want to kind of think about in a mindful way is, why does my leg feel like that? Or why does my chest feel like that? What's happening with the rest of me? So yoga, um, for even from a spiritual level, it's about a, a, a holistic approach to your body, your mind. So not just kind of accepting um, a niggle, kind of trying to get to the bottom of it, respecting your body and then working with your body. So I'm going to leave the kind of little nerdy bit aside this morning and we're just going to get right into the practice. So we just come to, to a nice comfortable seated. If the cross leg is good for you, great. If not, feel free to sit back up onto the heels and keep the knees together. And uh, just check in with that lower back that it feels nice and open and that we're pressing the chest forward. We're sitting nice and long into the spine. We're going to open the palms to the ceiling, draw the shoulder blades up toward the ears and then draw them back together down the spine. So we're going to inhale into the front of the body as we draw the shoulders up and then exhale, draw them right back down. It's almost like a little wave motion into the body. Just getting a little bit of movement into the shoulders this morning. Keeping the neck nice and long, imagining like there's a little piece of string attached to the crown of your head, drawing you up toward the ceiling. So try and keep that length. If you need to prop a little cushion or block underneath the sit bones, just so you can tilt the pelvis forward a little bit more, feel free, and then just reverse that in the other direction. So just some nice big shoulder rolls. Feeling that space between the shoulders, that space between the chest. And then relax. So we'll take our three nice open active breaths together. So palms are open, we're gonna inhale, arms out. Reaching up, interlocking fingers, pressing palms to ceiling, and then really drawing those arms back in line with the ears. So try to keep as much space into the chest here. And notice here if the ribs are flaring out. So we want to try to engage the core. So we're tucking the belly button in toward the back of the spine, and then keep that nice length. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears. As we exhale, we're going to press the palms forward, stretching through the shoulders. So we'll do that twice more with a nice little flow. Inhale, arms out, reaching up, interlocking fingers, exhale, pressing it forward, release it away. One more, inhale, arms out, reaching up, interlocking fingers, exhale, pressing it forward. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up. This time as we exhale, we're going to bring the left arm forward, right arm behind. We're going to place the heel of that right hand as close to the lower back as we can and place that left hand just above the knee. As we inhale, lift in the chest. And as we exhale, we're going to press that left hand into the right leg, looking back over the right shoulder and getting a nice little release through the spine. So just notice that right hand. So we're trying not to dump back into it. It's just there to remind us to sit nice and tall into the spine as we inhale. And then as we exhale, see if we can draw that shoulder back a little bit more, trying to get the chest almost parallel to the side of the room. So nice, big, full belly breaths here, in through the nose and out through the nose. We're going to inhale gently back to centre, bringing both hands over to the left, small little micro bend just to release that twist and then draw it back to centre. So we just reverse the crisscross of our legs while we're here. And then open the palms. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up. And then as we exhale, right hand comes forward, left hand comes behind, right hand rests just above the left knee, heel of the left hand right up near the lower back. And we're sitting nice and tall into the spine as we inhale. 
And then as we exhale again, looking back over that left shoulder, we can press that right hand into the leg. Just check in that you're not pressing into the knee joint itself, so just above the knee. And even if you want to walk your fingertips around the back a little bit more, try to create as much space into the chest, as much rotation through the spine, and taking the gaze over that shoulder, maybe even working the right shoulder away from the right ear, getting an extra little stretch into the neck. And then slowly we're going to inhale back to center. Both hands over to the right, small little release. And then slowly back to center. Again, palms open. We're going to work a little bit into the lower back here. So we're going to try and create a wee bit of space into the lower back, a little stretch into the glutes, and hopefully that will help us access a bit more space lower down the body. We're going to inhale, arms out, reach it up. Interlocking fingers as we exhale, pressing the palms to the ceiling and then gently hinging from the hips as we press the palms forward as far as we can go, keeping the spine nice and long and then resting the fingertips onto the ground out in front. As we inhale, pressing the chest forward and as we exhale, walking the fingertips forward a little bit more and really pressing back into the sit bones. So don't worry if you're up here, once you're feeling that space in the lower back, and a little release into one of your glutes, depending on what way the legs are crossed, if they're crossed. So we're thinking about inhale, lengthening forward, exhale, hinging a little bit more into that fold. You can relax the head and neck here and just work with your own breath. So inhale, even pressing the fingertips into the ground so we can get those sit bones back onto the ground behind us. Exhale a little bit more. Last breath. And then tucking the chin in, we're going to walk the hands back toward the body. Reverse the crisscross one more time, just so we can work into that opposite glute. And again, opening the palms, inhale, arms out, reach it up, interlocking fingers. And then exhale, pressing it up and out in front. Nice active arms here. Press, press, press as far as we can go. And then resting the fingertips down onto the ground. And just see how those sit bones feel, even rocking a little bit side to side, just grounding them into the earth behind us. Again, we can press the ground away to get those sit bones back a little bit more. And as we inhale, pressing the chest open and forward. And as we exhale, see if we can even get the fingertips forward, even just half a mil. So it's just that extra little bit of space we're trying to gain. So by us working into opening up the lower back, we might be able to access a little bit more space then into our glutes and into our hamstrings when we get into them. Relax the breath. Every exhale, thinking about sinking the chest a little bit closer toward the ground. Don't forget that breath. So important here. And again, don't battle with yourself as to how low you're going. Once you're feeling that release, that's where your body needs to be this morning. We're all built totally different. Tucking the chin in, gently walking back toward the body and release. So we're going to come to lie in the mat. Again, just check in that you have your tail within reach here. So lying back <clears throat> onto the mat. We're going to hug the right knee in. And we're going to come straight into our figure four here this morning. So figure four, we've got that right ankle rest and just the lower left knee, walking the left heel toward the body. Working the right knee away from the body and keeping that right foot engaged. We're going to inhale, lift the left foot off the ground, shin parallel to the ceiling, and we can either interlock the hands behind that hamstring, or if we feel that we're rounding into the upper back and shoulders here, we can reach for a tail, wrap it around the back of the left hamstring, and that allows us to tuck those elbows in and keep that nice space into the chest. So it's just a little arm extension. As we inhale, lifting the chest, walking the shoulder blades together, connecting the spine. And as we exhale, working that left knee a little bit closer toward the face and working that right knee away from the body. So we should feel a little release into the right hip and glute here. Again, keeping that shin parallel to the ceiling if it's accessible. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, lengthen into that left foot, pointing through the toe. And as we exhale, we're going to draw the left toes toward the face. So inhale, pointing the toe. Exhale, flexing. Still working into that glute, 
So working in to that right hip, but just getting a little bit of ankle mobility here too. And then making a few nice big circles into that left ankle. And just notice how smooth those circles are. We're trying to get those circles as big and smooth each rotation. And just notice where it does become trapped. Sometimes it's a nice little indicator as to what's happening further up the body. But we often don't take the time to listen to those little niggles and then reverse it in the other direction. And you should feel that into the lower leg too. Again, don't forget that hip. We're still working into that little hip opener. And then slowly release the left foot down, drop the tail off to the side. We're going to go into a little figure four glute bridge here. So again, keeping that left heel nice and close to the body. So we should be able to brush our fingertips down. And then both hands come flat onto the ground. As we inhale, we're going to roll the lower back, middle back and upper back off the mat. As we lift the hips toward the ceiling, we're going to walk the shoulder blades together underneath the upper back. And then if we can, we're going to make a little fist interlocking the fingers behind the back and pressing that fist into the ground. Again, if our hips are quite tight, that knee is going to be quite high up into the air. That's fine. We're just going to gently work the right knee down. Keep the right foot flexed so we're not feeling in that right knee. And we're pressing the hips forward toward the ceiling, pressing that left foot into the ground, lifting the chest so we shouldn't feel any pressure on the neck here. Hold it for three, for two, and one. If you want to hold it a little bit longer here, you can, or you can join me as we inhale, pressing the hips toward the sky, and as we exhale, gently lowering the bum toward the fists. Hover. Inhale, press it up. Exhale, gently lowering. Inhale, pressing up, using the hamstring and glute to get that height. Exhale, gently lowering, nice and slowly. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale, release. Two more. Up. Exhale, lower. Last one, up. And then exhale, release all the way down onto the ground. We're going to cross that right leg fully over the left, extending both arms out in line with the shoulders. And then gently shifting the hips to the right, we're going to let both legs drop over to the left, coming into a little spinal twist. Just check in that right shoulder is grounded to the mat. We can take the gaze over the right fingertips if it feels okay in the neck. And then we want that right hip stacked over the left if we can get it. So if that means shifting the hips a little bit more to the right until we can literally stack that right hip joint on top of the left. So that allows us access the full twist, the full length of the body from the lower back all the way up to the neck. Nice deep inhale into the belly, really filling it to the depths of the belly. And then as we exhale, see if we can release a little bit deeper into that twist. Should feel a little release here into the right glute as well. Work with your own breath. Really imagining that belly, really filling. Creating space so on our exhale, we can get that extra little bit of movement in the spine. And then slowly inhale back to center. We're going to hug that right knee in, extending fully out through the left foot, really pressing actively away through the left heel. We're going to inhale, press the right shin into the hands. So hands are interlocked over the leg, and we're going to press the leg into the hands. As we exhale, drawing that knee in toward the body. So inhale, pressing shin into hands. And then exhale, hugging that knee in a little bit more. So continuing with your own breath. So we're trying to activate the muscle and then immediately release into that muscle. So it's a really effective way of getting into a little bit more space. Last one. Lovely. From here, we're going to hug the left knee in to meet right, and then we're going to rest that right foot down onto the mat. Keep the left knee hugged in, and we're going to come into figure four on the other side. So that left ankle rests just below the right knee, 
Left foot nice and active, so we're protecting that left knee all the time. You can work that right heel toward the bum, work the left knee away, and just check in that lower back is supported on the mat. There's no space between the lower back and the ground. We're going to inhale that right leg off the mat, bringing the shin parallel to the ceiling, and then again, either interlocking the hands behind the back of that hamstring, or we can use our towel so that we're not rolling into the shoulders and into the upper back. So see where you feel here. So don't be afraid to use the towel. It's great to be able to access that extra bit of space as we work into the hips. So as we inhale, we're thinking about lengthening the spine, opening the chest. And as we exhale, working that right knee toward the body, working that left knee away. See if we can engage with that nice nasal breath. So really controlling that exhale, feeling it right into the core. As we inhale, we're going to point the right foot up toward the ceiling, really stretching into the front of the foot. And as we exhale, draw the right toes toward the face. So again, with your own breath. And you'll notice, depending on what you do day to day, one movement can be really easy, like pointing your foot. And then the other, when you come to flex, it can be really tricky, or vice versa. So it really just depends on what movements that our foot is fixed in for the majority of the day. But it's really important that we try to create that balance. And then make it a few nice big circles to the left. Again, nice full movement. Notice where those little niggles or resistances are. And just try to work with them with that movement. And then reverse it in the other direction. So it's funny, we're just rotating into your ankles, but you'll find that right into the lower leg maybe up into the knee and upper leg just by drawing these nice big circles into the ankle and then slowly release that right foot down release the tail off to the side again we're going to keep our figure four as we work into our bridge so we're going to reach back toward the fingertips brushing the right fingertips toward the heel here Pressing the hands firmly into the ground. As we inhale, lift the lower back, middle back, upper back. Walking the shoulder blades together underneath that upper back. See if we can make a little fist by interlocking the hands. If we can't, just keep the hands nice and flat onto the ground. So we're pressing the hands, fist into the mat, shoulders, that right foot. And we're pressing the hips actively up toward the ceiling. Draw that left knee down. So loads of things happening here in our glute bridge. Getting a little hip opener, press the hips upwards, releasing. Again, you can choose to hold it here for the next few breaths, or if you want to join me, a little bit of activation. We're going to inhale, press the hips skyward, and as we exhale, gently lowering the bum toward the hands. Hover. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, lower. Inhale, pressing up. Exhale, lower. Three more. Staying with your breath, relax in the exhale. Two more. The last one. Brilliant. And slowly release. A little bit by little bit, opening the shoulders. We're going to cross that left leg fully over the right, extending both arms out in line with the shoulders, and then shift the hips a little bit to the left. We're going to let both knees drop over to the right, nice and easy, taking that gaze over the left fingertips. So keeping the chest nice and wide, both shoulders rooted into the mat. And we're going to look for that lovely big belly breath. So really exaggerating that breath deep into the belly, working it up through the body. And as we exhale, see if we can allow those knees drop over a little bit more. So really wringing out the spine, the core, creating a little bit of space between all those organs and the abdominal cavity. So just really enjoying that extra bit of space created with your trust. And then release into that left glute here too.
Slowly, we're going to inhale back to center. We're going to hug that left knee in and we're going to extend that right foot fully out along the mat, pressing away through the right heel, working the back of that right knee toward the ground. So keep that right leg nice and active. Interlocking hands over the shin. As we inhale, pressing the shin into the hands, nice and active. As we exhale, draw that left knee in toward the chest and release. Inhale, pressing shin into hands. Exhale, draw knee to chest. Three more to your own breath. So just feel that activation and release. Two more. Last one. And release, lovely. We're going to bring that right knee in to meet the left, hugging both knees into the chest, give them a nice little squeeze. And then we're going to crisscross at the ankles and take three or four rolls forward and back along the mat. We use that motion to really massage the full length of the spine. So when you've taken your three or four rolls, we're going to eventually engage with the core in our last roll to bring ourselves up to seat. Lovely. And from seat, we're going to come right straight into our tabletop this morning. So again, all four limbs on the ground. So we're spreading the hands nice and wide through the fingers. Any pressure is just in the finger pads and knuckles. So try to stay nice and light in the wrists. Shoulders stacked over elbows and wrists and elbow creases facing forward. Knees are about hip width distance apart, hips are over knees. If you need to flex the feet to take the pressure off the knees or place a little towel underneath the knees, see where your body's at this morning. And we'll go straight into a few little cat cow curls. So we're going to inhale, press the chest forward, gaze up toward the ceiling, arching through the spine. Exhale, pressing into the mat, curling through the spine, gaze back toward the belly, stretching the shoulder blades. Inhale, gaze comes forward and up, lifting the heart. Exhale, pressing into the ground, curling back. Inhale, gaze goes forward and up. Exhale, curling through and under, really tucking that chin in, releasing the neck. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, curling through, closing down your eyes and working through that same movement to your own breath. Just really exploring the space between your spine, between all those little facets, opening up, feeling the blood flow, feeling the energy flow. Really beautiful way of waking up into the body, creating those waves with the breath. Notice if there's any little entrapments, any little niggles along the spine and just take an extra couple of breaths into that space. So pausing in that space, maybe it's between the shoulder blades. So really working the breath here. Last couple of rotations. Again, you really can't do enough of these. Feeling that lovely release. And then gently we're going to meet back into our tabletop. So we're going to concentrate more so on the lower body this morning. So we've been doing this pose a couple of times this week already. So hands are grounded. So same shoulders stacked over wrists and try to keep those shoulders stacked over the wrists. So even when we get into this little pose here, we have a tendency to drop back into the wrists and cause a bit of pressure. So just keep checking in, just a little mental note to yourselves. Knees again about hip width distance apart. We're going to inhale, press back through that right foot. So keeping that right foot nice and active. And then we're going to bend the right knee. Notice here if the belly's dropping or the bones popping up into the air. So we're going to tuck the tailbone under. So press the hips down, almost like we want to suck the belly button back toward the back of the spine. And we notice that right knee is going to drop here. And then we're going to have to activate that right glute to get that lift again. So we're keeping a nice neutral spine as much as we can. Keep checking in, wrists underneath the shoulders. And we're just going to hold it here. So keeping that leg lifted, see how that feels. So this in itself is a lovely glute and hamstring activator. Keeping it nice and strong. 
When you're ready, if you want to join me, we're going to do a little pulse motion to really get into that hamstring and glute. So we're going to press the sole of the foot toward the ceiling, little pulses. I'm not going to get caught up too much with the breath, but it's about two pulses per breath. And again, not a massive fan of pulsing, but once it's not under load, so this is a really nice one, just activating and waking up those muscles. So often a lot of people are, they have trouble engaging in their glutes and they do such a lot of work in helping stabilize our hips and working our lower legs. So even just these little activators to remind our muscles to switch on. And you're gonna really feel that in your glute and hamstring here. For three, for two, and one. From here, we're gonna rotate that right hip open. We're gonna keep the right knee nice and high in line with the hip, keep that right foot active, and press back through the right heel. So really create a nice bit of space into the right hip. Hands remain grounded. We're gonna inhale, draw that right knee outward and then around to touch the right elbow. Exhale, extend it out and back round, opening into the hip. Slow control movement, inhale. Right knee, right elbow, keeping it high. Exhale, draw that right knee back, opening the hip. Inhale, right knee, right elbow. Exhale, extend it back and open. Three more. Inhale, exhale, draw it back. Inhale, knee to elbow. Exhale it round and open. Last one, knee to elbow. Exhale it round. Well done. Bringing right knee back to meet left. We're just going to sit back into a little traditional child's pose here for a couple of breaths. We're pressing the ground away, sit bones back to the heels. We're going to rest the head down onto the mat or onto a block. Just make sure it's supported and bring the hands back by the feet. We can even give ourselves a little self massage with that right fist into the glute, into the bone muscle, and just release that. So quite a lot of engagement there. But that's what we want to feel. Now, we don't want to feel pain, but we do want to feel like that muscle has been work, worked. Lovely. Slowly release the hands back out in front, tucking the chin in and gently coming back into our tabletop. So same deal on the other side. Again, checking in those shoulders are stacked. Almost imagine you're pressing the ground away. So we don't want to jump into our shoulders here. So we're pressing the ground away, keeping space between the shoulders all the time. Inhale that left leg back, pressing back through the heel. We're going to bend that left knee. Pressing the sole of the foot up toward the ceiling. And again, notice if the belly's dropping, if the bone's popping up, if we're crushing into our lower back. So we're going to engage with the core, tucking the hips under, and then trying to engage with that left glute a little bit more to make sure that leg is lifted. Again, we're going to hold it here just for a few breaths, feeling that strength, that length in the spine, that strength in the core, feeling that left glute, that hamstring, nice active left foot. So lots of things happening here. Even just stay like this. You don't have to even do the pulsing. You don't have to bring the hip out. This in itself is a fabulous way of activating it into that lower limb. Then we're going to pulse if you want to join me. Bringing the sole of the foot toward the ceiling, little pulses. Again, not getting caught up with the breath, but do remember to breathe. <laughs> so it's really hard to count with the pulses, I find anyhow. So I try just to have a nice natural breath. And just keep the pulse movement going. Really feeling that glute, feeling that hamstring. A little bit of space into the hip here too though. For three, for two, feeling that we burn. And one. We're going to open the left hip out. And again, we're keeping the left knee, keeping the foot nice and high. Really pressing back through that left foot. So getting a nice bit of space into the front of that left hip. As we inhale, we're going to rotate through the hip, drawing that left knee toward the left elbow, keeping the knee high. Exhale, extend it back and round. Inhale, left knee, left elbow. Exhale it back, opening the hip. Inhale, left knee, left elbow. Exhale it back. Three more. 
And again, it's a slow controlled movement. So we're not just reacting. We're not doing a pendulum effect through the body. We're doing a nice little engaged movement. So we're feeling each and every single muscle and joint as they work together. Last one, you're doing really well. Brilliant, slowly release that left knee down. Again, coming back into our child's pose, pressing the ground away, sit bones back toward the heels, resting the head down, again, onto a block or onto the mat. So just make sure the head is supported. Fingertips back by the ankles and just release the shoulders toward the ground. Again, notice how that left glute feels. If we need to get our fingers, get our fists and just give ourselves a little self massage, a little rub into that left glute, just to release it out. Well done. Bringing the hands back to the front of the mat, tuck the chin in, and slowly coming back into our tabletop. From here, we're going to tuck the toes under, so coming onto the balls of the feet, and we're going to actively press the ground away, drawing the sit bones back toward the heels, and just getting a nice little stretch into the arches of the feet and into the toes. Tucking the chin in toward the chest, pressing the ground away, getting a little stretch into the neck here too. From here, really grinding those hands into the mat. So spreading the fingers nice and wide. Again, pressure in the finger pads and knuckles, lighten the wrists. As we keep the toes tucked under, we're going to lift the hips skyward, and then we're going to draw the heels down onto the ground. So we're coming into a little downward dog here. So start with the front of the body. Again, grinding those hands into the mat. Literally pressing the ground away, seeing if we can draw the chest a little bit closer to the ground keeping the shoulders nice and strong. We're gonna lift the hips up toward the ceiling and then draw those heels down toward the ground again. And see if you can activate the quads a little bit to get a wee bit more length into the backs of the legs. And then from here, we're just gonna gently walk out our downward dog. So just to let opposite heels melt toward the ground. So again, often people come to me asking about stretching into their calves and hamstrings. One of the nicest stretches, if you feel you need to stretch, I think is downward dog, walking it out because you're keeping the muscles nice and active. You're going from engagement to release and you're not loading the muscle too much. So it's just a nice way of gently stretching out either before, after, start, end of the day. Lovely. Slowly we're going to look forward to the front of the mat. We're gently going to walk our way to the front of the mat. Coming into a nice deep forward fold. So feet are a little bit wider than hip width distance apart here. Nice deep bend to the knees until our belly rests on our legs. So nice deep bend here. We're going to hold on to opposite elbows and allow the head and neck fully release. Feeling that nice little bit of space in the lower back. So often we can be stretching away into the hamstrings, but we're actually, it could be the lower back that's caught up. So we're just going to release into the lower back this morning. So every exhale, just allow the body hinge a little bit more into that fold. Every inhale, if you wish, see if you can press the hips a little bit toward the ceiling, getting a little bit of length into the legs, and then exhale, hinge forward. So if you're already quite open in the lower back, you're going to find this really easy and you can just start to work into the hamstrings. But otherwise, we're thinking about lengthening on the inhale and then folding on the exhale. So keeping the belly as close to the legs here as we can. Relax the head, give it a little shake. Slowly, we're gonna release the fingertips to the ground, tuck the chin in, and then gently rise up to stand. Head comes up last. Lovely. We're finally up. We're going to do a couple of rounds of sun salutations. If you need to take a drink, there's the nice time. And just, we've already warmed up quite a lot into the body, so we're just going to try and access any little bits that we've missed using our sun salutations. Again, a nice fluid movement. Try to focus here on the breath. So a nice deep inhale in through the nose, starting in the belly. Okay, so focus the breath into the belly and then see if we can keep that breath out through the nose and engage with the core at the very end of the exhale. 
So come into the front of the mat, all corners of the feet nicely grounded into the mat. Feet about hip width distance apart. Hands to heart center, pressing palms together, shoulders toward the ears and then drawing them together down the spine. Engage the core, the glutes, the quads, switching on every little muscle. A little bit of springiness into the knees here, so not locking out into the knees. And we just take one nice deep cleansing breath together. So a nice deep inhale through the nose and then just sigh it out. When you're ready, inhale, arms out, reaching up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, hands to shins, nice flat back. Exhale, fold. Stepping right foot back to lunge, left foot to meet it. We're going to hold it here in our plank, check in. Shoulders over, elbows over wrists, elbow creases forward. Pressing back through the heels, keeping nice and strong in that core. For two, and one. Exhale, knees to the mat, chest and chin, keeping the elbows in, rolling the chest forward, untucking the toes, pressing the feet into the ground, lifting the heart forward. Exhale, tucking the toes, downward dog. And walking it out. Again, just keeping it nice and light this morning. Really pressing the ground away, lifting those hips, opening that lower back. We're going to inhale the right leg up, looking forward, stepping right foot into lunge in as many steps as you need. Left foot to meet it. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up through centre, hands extended up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Stepping left foot back to lunge. Right foot to meet it, hold it here in plank. Notice those hips or the dropping is the bum up, up in the air. We want to find that nice neutral space, that nice strong space in between for three, for two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the mat, keeping the elbows in, rolling the heart forward, on top of the toes, pressing the feet into the ground, lifting the chest. Exhale, tucking the toes, downward dog, walking it out. Checking in with the breath. Are you still there? We're going to inhale that left leg up, looking forward, stepping left foot into lunge, right foot to meet it. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up through center, hands extended up. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to repeat that once more. If you've been working in Chaturanga and Upward Dog, please feel free to take it. Otherwise, we just stick with that same little sequence when you're ready. Hands to heart, feet grounded. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Stepping right foot back to lunge, left foot to meet it, hold it here for three, for two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga to the ground, keeping those elbows tucked in, rolling the heart forward, pressing the feet into the ground, lifting the chest forward. Exhale, downward dog. Again, walking it out or bringing stillness to your downward dog. Whatever feels good to you. Inhale, right leg up, looking forward, stepping right foot into lunge, left foot to meet it. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rolling up through centre, hands extended up. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Stepping left foot back to lunge. Right foot to meet it, hold it in plank. Again, really pressing the ground away. So try not to dump into those lovely shoulders. Really pressing the ground away, feeling that space for two and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin into the mat or chaturanga, baby cobra or upward dog. Lifting the heart, pressing the feet into the ground, keeping that core strong. Exhale, downward dog. Coming back to that breath. Think about lengthening on the inhale, releasing on the exhale. Inhale, left leg up. Looking forward, stepping left foot into lunge. Right foot to meet it. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, rolling up to center, hands extended up. Exhale, hands to heart. Lovely. We're going to do a little flow here again, strong focus on the legs. Hopefully get a little bit of balance into it too to really challenge those lower leg muscles. Again, take a drink whenever you need to. Just come in and out of the practice nice and slow. Coming to the front, again, same starting pose. Hands to heart, feet grounded, all muscles engaged. We're going to inhale, rise up. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Inhale, gaze forward, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Stepping right foot back, we're going to keep the right hand grounded, pressing back into that right heel, and we're going to inhale that left arm up toward the ceiling, extending through the fingertips, working that left shoulder back, opening the heart for three, for two, and one. Left hand comes to meet right. We're going to gently release the right knee to the ground. As we inhale, both arms up in line with the ears, coming into a nice little low lunge. Check in that the lower back isn't being dumped into. So engage that core, press the hips forward. As we exhale, we're going to come into cactus arms. So we're going to draw the chest nice and open. Cactus arms like opposite elbows face with each other. Palms facing forward. Feel that core engaged. Nice and slowly, as we inhale, we're going to bring the hands forward, extend through the front leg and bring the left toes toward the face. So a little bit into the hamstring here. We only want to feel the stretch into the bellies of the muscles. So not near the knee joint, not near the sit bones, so just right into the fleshy part of the muscle. As we exhale, we're going to move forward into our cactus lunge, bringing the arms wide. Little flow here. Inhale, lengthen forward, left toe to face. Exhale, with control, cactus lunge, opening the hips. Inhale, lengthen forward. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale, release the hips. Three more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Draw that left toe toward the face. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, lengthen. And then exhale back into our cactus lunge. From here, we're going to bring both hands to the front of the mat, lifting off that right knee and gently stepping left foot back to meet right. Hold it here in our plank for three, for two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga to the ground. Baby cobra or upper dog, lifting the chest. Exhale, open the toes, downward dog. A little walk it out here in our downward dog. Gonna get a little bit stronger here into the legs. Again, at any stage, if you need to drop down onto one knee, please do. And if you do have any knee in issues or you're recovering from injuries, keep a nice um, low bend to the knee. So don't go too deep into the knee joints. And again, you listen to your own body. You're your best judge here. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. <laughs> That's pretty much my rule. If there's pain, there should never be pain in yoga. So if it doesn't feel good, it's not good. Inhale that right leg up, looking forward, stepping right foot into lunge. High in the fingertips, engage the core. We're going to inhale both arms up in line with the ears. Nice high lunge here. Draw the armpits toward the ears and the shoulders away from the ears. See if we can get a little bit lower into our lunge here. So again, testing out that right knee. If it doesn't feel good, don't go too low. So we're bringing the underside of that right leg almost parallel to the mat here. We're gonna bring the hands to heart center. We're gonna bring a little bit of release into this left knee here. So again, if it doesn't feel good, feel free to just stay here. This is a lovely bit of strengthening into the legs. As we inhale, lengthen in the spine, as we exhale, we're going to bend that left knee, drawing it toward the ground and hovering it about an inch off the mat. Inhale, lengthening through that back leg, pressing back through the heel. Exhale, bending left knee and hover. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, and hover. Three more, lengthen. Exhale. Two more, lengthen. Exhale, last one, lengthen, 
exhale. Coming back, lengthen. And then from here, we're going to really gently bring that left foot toward the middle of the mat so that both legs are extended now. So there's about maybe a foot, foot and a half between the front heel and the back toe. We're going to extend both arms out in front. And then as we rotate through the shoulders, we're going to grab hold of opposite elbows, or if you're doing reverse prayer, you can always bring reverse prayer into it here. Lifting the chest forward, both legs are long. We're going to inhale. And as we exhale, we're pressing back through the hips, pressing the chest forward, keeping the spine nice and long as we hinge from the hips. So again, keeping the spine long, feeling that lovely stretch into the back of the right leg here. And you might find you hinge a little bit further than I am, but try to keep the spine long. So we're not trying to compress into the front of the body as much as we can for three, for two, and one. Slowly release it back to center. Lovely. From here, just while we're up here and we're not mid-pose, I want you to make sure that you have your block out in front or your books at the centre of your mat. And then we're going to come on to our fingertips here. And then we're going to press back through that left heel. We're going to bring our hand to rest, that right hand to rest on the block. We can keep the fingertips on the ground if it doesn't feel good. Or we can see if we can bring that left hand to rest on the left hip and then draw that left shoulder back and that left hip upwards. So a nice strong standing pose here for that right leg. Relax the gaze here. Just focus on that balance for three, for two, and one. Both hands come back to the ground so we can take a nice deep bend into that right knee. We're going to bring the left knee to touch the back of the right knee and bring the left heel toward the bone. So going into a little pelican pose here. If you really want to challenge that glute and you're going to feel this for the last few breaths of the sequence, we're going to bring the hands to heart centre ooh, in prayer and hold it for three, for two, and one. Slowly release the fingertips back down. Left foot comes to meet right. Gently tucking the chin in and then slowly, slowly rising up to stand. Lovely. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side again, even at this stage, if you just want to make sure your pack of uh, books are blocking toward the left to the front of the mat, just that we have it for that pose. And then when you're ready, catching in with your breath, grounding those feet into the mat. Hands to heart. We take a nice cleansing breath together. So a nice deep inhale through the nose. And just sigh it out. When you're ready. Inhale, arms out, reaching up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, gaze forward, nice flat back. Exhale, fold. Stepping left foot back to lunge, keeping left hand grounded. We're going to inhale that right arm up and open. Really pressing back into that left heel, drawing the right shoulder back, extending through the fingertips for three, for two, and one. Right hand comes back to meet left. We're going to gently release that left knee down. Inhale, both arms up in line with the ears. Nice strong core here, so we're not going into a back bend. Pressing the hips forward, keeping the core strong. Exhale, cactus arms. Pressing the chest forward. Again, if we find that ribs are flaring, I want you to literally imagining tilting your pelvis forward, tucking the belly button into your spine and getting that engagement back into the core. We're going to inhale, lengthen into that front leg, bringing the fingertips to the ground, drawing the toe toward the face. Exhale, back into our cactus lunge, a little bit deeper into the hips. Inhale, lengthen forward as we move back toward that heel. Exhale, cactus lunge. Keep the core engaged. Inhale, lengthen. Spine is long. Exhale, cactus lunge. Three more. If you find that left knee is a little bit cranky, you can always place a tail underneath. So sometimes it can be a little bit much on the kneecap here if it's a wee bit niggly already. Last two. 
with control. So you control the movement. If it feels off balance, just slow it down and reconnect. I'm going to throw a bonus one in here, last one. Back to cactus lunge. Again from here, both hands to the front of the mat. Coming off that left knee and then pressing that right foot back to meet it, back into our lovely plank. Holding it here for three, for two, and one. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, arch out around and get to the ground. Baby cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Again, just walking it out here, even loosening into that glute. Releasing the hips, letting it go. Inhale, left leg up, looking forward, stepping the left foot into lunge, high on the fingertips, pressing back into the ball of that right foot. Engage the core as we really slowly lift our way up into our high lunge, arms up in line with the ears. Draw the shoulders away from the ears, keeping the hips pointed forward, heart open, core strong. Hands to heart center here. Again, feel free to stay in the pose here, maybe get a little bit deeper into that front leg, bringing the back of the leg parallel to the mat. If you want to join me as we inhale, lengthening the spine, and as we exhale, bending that right knee and hovering it just an inch before the ground. Inhale, lengthen back, pressing back into the right heel. Exhale, bending the knee and hover. Inhale, lengthen back. Exhale, release. Keep the abdominals engaged. So don't go into a back bend here. Nice, strong core as we work into that hip. Last two. Last one. Back into our high lunge. And again, with control here, we're going to press that right foot toward the center of the mat and lengthen out through both legs. So again, about a foot, foot and a half between the heel and the front foot. Make sure the hips are face forward here so we're not rotating around to the right. Hips are forward, hearts forward. We're going to inhale, arms out in front, rotating through the shoulders as we either catch hold of the elbows or if you've been practicing reverse prayer, prayer hands, pressing the chest forward again keeping the core engaged. We're going to lift the chest forward toward the ceiling as we inhale and as we exhale, pressing the hips back, extending through the heart, keeping the spine long as we hinge forward from the hips. So think about lengthening on the inhale and as we exhale, hinging a little bit more. You can relax the gaze here, relax the head. You can just allow the weight of the head bring you a little bit deeper into the stretch. So you're feeling that mostly here in the back of the left leg. And every exhale, see if you can deepen it a little bit more. For three. For two. And one. Slowly tuck the chin in and slowly release it back to centre. Again, we're going to bend into both knees, coming onto the fingertips to the front of the mat. And then we're going to extend that right leg back. If we want to bring that left hand to rest on the block here. And we can either just hover the fingertips off the ground, lifting that right knee back. Or we can bring that right hand to rest on the hip. I'm having a little bit of issue with my left ankle at the moment, so bear with me. <laughs> so pressing the hand into the block. Lifting that back hip, maybe working the right shoulder open, holding it here for three, engage the core for two, and one. Both fingertips come back to the mat in front. Nice deep bend into that left front knee. We're going to bring the right knee, touching it to the back of the left knee, and drawing the right heel toward the bum. So again, we can choose to stay here, or for the last few breaths, if you want to join me, we're going to bring the hands to heart center, really challenging that left standing leg and feeling that left glute really firing here for two. 
and one. Slowly release the hands down, right foot comes to meet left, bringing the feet really nice and wide here, about the width of the mat apart, allow the head, neck, everything just hang out here as we gently sway the body side to side. Nice exaggerated sway, get that full half rotation within the body. So just let everything hang out here, nice that release. And then fully release. From here, we're going to tuck the chin in and gently, gently roll up the stance, bringing the feet together at the front of the mat. We're going to do one last little release into the glutes and then we'll finish off. So hands to heart center, we just bring a little vinyasa to get there. We're going to inhale, arms out, reach it up. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Inhale, gaze forward, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Stepping right foot back to lunge, left foot to meet it. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga to the ground. Baby cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Walking it out nice and easy. We're going to inhale that right leg up, looking forward, stepping right foot into lunge, dropping down onto the left knee and untucking that left toe, walking the right foot to the outside of the mat. So both arms are inside the right leg. Keep that right knee stacked over the ankle so the knee's not coming forward of the ankle. And just a gentle release here into the hips, glutes, chest. So working the chest forward and working the shoulder blades back, walking that left foot back and just feeling that nice release into the right hip and into the front of the left hip. Hold it here for three, for two, and one. Left hand comes to the center of the mat and we're going to bring that right hand to rest just above the knee and then look back over that right shoulder as we gently press the right hand into the leg, getting a little release in our spinal twist. For three, for two, don't forget to breathe, and one, slowly release. Right hand comes to the mat. We're going to tuck that left toe under, lifting off the knee and really gently draw that right foot back around to meet the left and gently, gently walking it out, nice and easy. We're going to inhale that left leg up, looking forward, stepping the left foot into lunge, dropping right knee down gently on top of the toe and then walking that left foot to the very outside of the mat. Both hands come inside and we're going to walk that right foot back a little bit more. So coming high on the fingertips, we can even use a block here if we want a little bit more height and opening in space into the front of the body, so your choice. Pressing the chest forward, really working that right foot back. Again, that left knee is over the ankle, not above it, or not in front of it, should I say, confusing you. <laughs> really pressing the chest. Forward, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, keeping the core engaged and just allowing gravity in the breath, draw those hips a little bit closer toward the ground. For three, for two, and one. Right hand comes to the center of the mat. We're going to place that left hand just above the knee. And as we exhale, we're going to look back over that left shoulder. Pressing the left hand into the leg as an extra little leverage to work our body into a nice little twist and release. Again, don't forget to breathe. That exhale is so good in the twist. Really allow the body to respond to that exhale breath. For three, for two, and one. Lovely. Slowly release it back to the front of the mat. Both hands come to the front. Tuck that right to under. Come off the knee and really gently draw that left foot back to meet the right. Gently, gently, gently walking it out in our downward dog. Just feel that lovely extra little bit of space into the spine, the hips, the legs. Pressing the ground away, lifting the hips toward the ceiling. And then we're going to gently release the knees to the ground, bringing the feet together, allow the knees come about the width of the mat apart. And then just make a little pillow with the hands 
We're going to press the sit bones back toward the heels and just take a nice relaxed wide like a child's pose here for our last pose this evening. Well, this evening, this morning. See, it's so dark. I think it's evening. <laughs> Relax the head, relax the neck, and just feel that energy in the lower back and hips. So feel that kind of extra little bit of blood flow, the extra bit of energy. Notice where your breath is at. Notice if you're holding anything in the body. Maybe just take a few little deep inhales and sigh out through the mouth. Just let it go. Let anything that you're holding on to be that a physical or a mental thing, just breathe it in nice and deep and then <sighs> sigh it out and let it go. And we just take a couple of moments here. When you're ready, we're going to gently extend the arms out in front, tuck the chin into the chest, and then slowly, slowly walk the hands back toward the body as we sit back up onto the heels. And then we're going to meet in any comfortable seated position for you, so whether that's sitting back onto the heels, easy cross-legged legs extended out in front, but we meet back at the front of the mat. And we're going to take three nice active closing breaths together. So again, sit nice and long into the spine, Hopefully it feels a little bit easier than it did at the start of the class. We're going to open the palms to the ceiling to receive a little bit of energy for the weekend. Drawing the shoulders up and then together down the spine. And we take three closing breaths. We're going to inhale, arms out, reaching up, interlocking fingers, exhale, side out, release it and let it go. Two more. And then gently bringing the hands together at heart center, pressing the palms together and closing down the eyes. And just thanking yourselves for creating a wee bit of space in your Friday morning to come to the mat to look after yourselves, to create some really good energy and some really lovely strength in the body and mind this morning. And hopefully take that with you into the weekend ahead. And thank you as always for sharing that with me. Namaste. Well done, folks. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. Great to have you. It's definitely waking me up. I hope you feel the same. <laughs> um, again, any